Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Broco back in the house. That's uh, right. Yes, yes. Another video for you guys. You read the title. This is a, a bit of a strange, odd one, but I'm <laughs> going to go ahead and play this one. Robbed after rejecting a man who was hitting on her at a gas station. And tonight, the woman's talking only with ABC 13 about this terrifying encounter. And Daniela Hurtado joins us live from the police department with her story tonight, Daniela. Eric, Gina, this woman tells us she's thankful he only robbed her purse and not her life. This afternoon, like many others, she saw that surveillance video for the very first time of when she was robbed and relived those terrifying moments. I was terrified. I felt like once I gave him my purse that he was still going to shoot me. On Christmas Eve, India Simon was at a gas station near her home in the Greenspoint area on Lanewick and Way Forest when she had a scary encounter with this man. Surveillance video from that night shows the man entered the convenience store and approached Simon. And I heard him. He's calling me cute. He's hollering at me and then I was ignoring him, dismissing him as she went outside to pump her gas and the suspect is seen on video parking near her and approaching her again, trying to get my number. He's asking for my number and I'm telling him I have a boyfriend. No, thank you. Have a good night. And I'm pumping my gas and he's steady, like talking to me. He's getting closer to me. And then that's when I felt like something was wrong. Simon says she stopped pumping gas and tried to get in her car, except the man was blocking her way. And that's when she says he demanded her purse with a gun. I really felt like I was going to die. I felt like he was going to shoot me because of the look on his eyes. Tonight, she's unsure if it was all about money, considering it was the holidays, or if the suspect's ego was hurt because she turned him down. Either way, police need your help in identifying this man to get him off the streets. Now I'm, I'm going to move because I don't feel safe in the area at all. The same streets that our ABC 13 neighborhood safety tracker shows has had 159 robberies in the last 12 months. It's a decrease from the last three years. In Houston, Daniela Hurtado, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. All right, bro. The young girl, the young lady says she don't feel safe anymore. No. In 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 in, in them streets, man. And and that's so sad, man, because it's our duty as men to protect our women, to protect right. our sisters out here. Mm -hmm. And we sitting up here pulling guns on 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 our, on our young sisters, man. Like, he, he was just salty because she wasn't giving the number. You know, back in the days, and I, I don't even know where that come from, but back in the days, you know, we, the most disrespectful thing we might do if she shot us down is we might call out a name. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. But, I mean, just he robbed her, for real. Yeah. Come on, man. God, Lee. Like, I, I, you know, I remember getting uh. turned down. You know, I... <laughs> Plenty of times I've been turned down, okay? So I ain't gonna front. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, we all had our share of uh, rejection, right. but you, you keep going. Yeah, you, you don't rob her. Well, you know, you know, right. Plenty of time, you know what I'm saying? All right, right, you have a nice day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Keep it moving. If you wanna be a gentleman or you just walk off, well, whatever. Right, right. You know, shoot, shoot the dart at the next one. What would have happened if we did it? You know what I mean? You're right. There you go. But, there you go. But yeah, this is it. Is it is it getting to the point, bro? Where you see, see, I there, there was another clip. We didn't do a story a, a, a story on this one, but mm -hmm. it was a, a dude was trying to holler at a girl. I think it was in New York, and uh, she didn't accept the advances, and he turned around, up gun on her, and shot her to death. Oh no, we didn't do that one. We did the one with the, the dude that beat up that woman. Yeah, in the train, in the train station, station in yeah, in, in, in the subway station. Because she yeah. wasn't, yeah, she wouldn't holler at him. Yeah, yeah, she holler at him. I mean, and that's just, just, just on, uh, fellas, fellas, fellas. You can't be that weak, brothers. Can't be that weak. What a woman say no, it means no. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, I just come on now. Y'all, y'all game got to be a lot stronger than this. Y'all, y'all got to go ahead and pimp on to the next one when that one don't work out. It's, it's a billion women out here, <laughs> millions of them out here. Factual, you know what I mean? Factual. Just go on to the next one. A woman just don't want to accept your advances. Just leave. Accept that. You know what I mean? And be a man about it. You know what I mean? It takes a, a bigger man to do that than. 
to sit up here and, and rob her okay. or, or to cuss out or try to fight her because she want to holler at you. You know, most of us got girlfriends out here. I can't be with mine all the time. I wouldn't appreciate some, some low life, no game having dude trying to holler at my woman and not accepting no for an answer. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Now, she got to call me if she can even get to the phone and even call me so I can get to her. So I can handle that situation for her. You feel me? So, I mean, y'all, come on, man. Y'all y'all brothers can do better than that. You know what I mean? And for the brothers, and shout out to the brothers that, that, that understand that. You know what I mean? And, and move on or whatnot. You know what I mean? Come on now. I, you know what I mean? Just, I just had to really put it out that moment because that, that's ridiculous. It really is. It really is. And to piggyback off of what you just said, I would like to say uh, mothers do better by raising your boys because the only way that a boy, that, that, that these young guys come up really hating on women and stuff like that, that come from a messed up or, or lack of relationship with the mother. That's where that come from. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just like old dude in the subway, yeah. you know, he killed his foster mom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and you know, so you know he got a thing. Against, he hated women. For yeah. that, that's it. He just hated women. Definitely. So you whatever I mean? he yeah. was a youngster, right. getting beat on or whatever, right? It, 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 it trickle on down. So you know, you got to remember, uh, ladies, that you have the palm of the future in your hands. That's okay? right. And you have the ability to either create a serial killer, because mm. most serial killers, they don't have a relationship with their mom at all, period. Mm. Their mom dogged them out and treated them bad, and now they come mm. up, you know, killing anything they ain't re even resemble their mama. Right. So you have the ability to be able to create and put in that love into that young man so he can treat future women good. You want to see future women treated good? You got to put the love into your sons. Right, you got to set the blueprint, uh, excuse me, the blueprint for him because I don't care how much you hate the daddy. The child don't have nothing to do with that. Mm. Young woman out here, oh, I hate the daddy, so I, don't, I ain't even finna really put it into the kids. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's weak. You, you, you shouldn't even be having kids if it's like that. But unfortunately, we have people out here that just popping kids like pills, you know what I'm saying, and they, a lot of them kids don't 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 have that that relationship like that with the mother, because the mom still steady popping them out or whatnot. Or, you know what I mean? It's, it could be the same dude, it could be ten different dudes or whatnot. They in a relate, you know, they're, they're in these relationships, but they're having these kids. Okay, you want these relationships? Understand it. If you want to be a nymphomaniac or high from dude to do, however you want to do it. That's your business, but if you having kids, the game should change then. That, that, that sacrifice come in there because you can't keep still doing what you're doing and having these kids and ain't teaching them nothing. They growing up to take care of themselves. You got some kids that grow up to be more of a mama than, than their own mama. Because they had to cook and clean and, and for, for their younger siblings because they mama out there doing Lord knows whatever. So everybody has to be accountable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody. Yeah. So. And this is not to, to crap on the ladies, you know what I'm saying? But just it's just that y'all have the power to be able to mold the next generation. And if you don't want to continue seeing situations like this, then you know what you got to do. And another thing, real quick before we end, because yeah, this isn't. A, a bash, bash woman sight or not nothing like all, that. Not at all. Because I'm, I love I'm my just, sisters out there. Love you. I'm definitely gonna get on these men, these brothers out here. Yes. You know, you got some no good nothing brothers out here that won't do nothing but half a woman, a woman, a woman. But you have women that know this. Mm -hmm. Quit letting that man come inside you like that. Come getting you know, getting get to you like that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because you already know he already a dog. He ain't nothing. He got four five other kids, but four five other women. Right. He ain't even in their life. Why would you? be with him, knowing this, you know what I'm saying? I don't care how good sex is or whatever he might bring to the table, aside of sex or whatnot, you gotta, you gotta, gotta, gotta look at that future because if he do get you pregnant, what makes you think he gonna, he gonna stay there with you? Right. And do for your son or daughter, and he ain't even doing for the previous ones before, you know what I mean, that he already got. Right. You know what I mean? So, I mean, a lot of these brothers out here, they, they, they really need, need to check themselves. Mm. You know what I mean? Because you got kids out here that need you. Factual. You know, you Factual. got these women out here, 
that, you know what I mean, that this raising these kids, and yeah, they, they, some of them have the right to be bitter and angry. Shit, you know, mm -hmm. excuse my language. You know what I'm saying? Because that wasn't the deal with most of them. You know, some, sometimes things happen. I get that. But some people are actually playing kids, you know. Mm -hmm. But then when a the relationship goes south, so does the partner. So does the dude. And that can happen. You know that what I'm saying? Happen. So, yeah, you, you brothers, man, step y'all game up, man. If y'all real brothers, then I ain't talking to y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if you fall in that category, you know who you are. Shame on you. And, and, and get better with yourself. Love. So with that being said, you guys heard the dialogue. You guys go ahead and leave your comments and let us know what you think. All right? And smash them likes. All right? Remember to smash those likes, you guys. And until the next video, peace. peace.